And ketosis is a state of very, very rapid or accelerated uh, fat breakdown that is switched on when one has depleted or used up all of their liver glycogen or sugar storage, if you will. So it's not um, a state um, in which um, that is induced necessarily by being uh, slightly hypocaloric. Um, as a matter of fact, you don't have to be hypocaloric or eating less calories than your, than your resting metabolic rate to be in ketosis. You just have to show your body a very, very low insulin signal for several days time typically in order to get into that state. Again, what the low insulin signal will do when you eat very, very low daily loads of carbohydrates is that's gonna turn on fat burning. And when you continue to turn that fat burning and don't switch fat burning off for several days, all of your liver glycogen is gonna be depleted. All of, all of your sugar that's resident within your liver is going to be depleted, okay? And what's happening is that in addition to um, the fat burning that's going on, as the liver depletes its glycogen, you are slowly starting to turn on um, the production of ketones. So their ketosis is a spectrum. After typically, say 48 to 72 hours of low carbohydrate consumption, your body will start making ketones. And as I said, there's a spectrum. So what is considered ketosis, nutritional ketosis, is the state that is induced by low carbohydrate consumption and ketone levels, blood ketone levels of 0.5 millimolars. That's different than drinking, as an example, exogenous ketones, okay? so beta-hydroxybutyrate salts that are in a product like this, keto aminos, um, or in best pre-workout, which both of which have beta-hydroxybutyrate, that's a ketone. There's a difference between nutritional ketosis and ketosis that's induced by the consumption or drinking um, the, of the ketone molecules themselves. So again, there is a requisite time that is necessary during which an individual is eating very, very low carbohydrates, and then that will deplete liver glycogen and thereafter turn on this accelerated fat burning state of ketosis. You do not have to be in ketosis to burn fat because if you did not keep your insulin levels low for several days time, you necessarily wouldn't be spilling ketones into the blood. Sure, you could be losing body fat, but you're also gonna be burning sugar. So the energy substrates for the body are gonna be sugar, or glucose and fat, okay, that is not ketosis, okay? So in that state, right, you are not in ketosis, yet still burning fat, right? So it's all this spectrum. Once you continue in this low insulin state, then your body is going to start making ketones, right? And again, ketosis is, this, is nutritional ketosis is 0.5 millimolars or greater, and then if you continue with this low carbohydrate consumption, and some people don't even any, eat, eat any carbohydrates during the day, you are going to drive those ketone levels up. So you're gonna to go to one, 1 1.5, two. How do you check these things? There are blood ketone meters, there are urine dipsticks, and it's all a spectrum. So how do you know where you want to live? At 0.5? at one, at 1 1.5, at two millimolars. That just depends upon how aggressively you want to lose fat. In my clinic, we use a modified ketogenic protocol. So people may be right on the edge of nutritional ketosis at about 0.5 millimolars. That would be pink on the urine dipstick. That's where I want them. I don't want them to be too, too, too deep down that rabbit hole and be two, three millimolars of ketones um, on the urine dipstick or in the blood. Why? Because there is a tendency at least during that induction phase, um, to lose a little bit of muscle. Um, and we don't want that in the clinic. So we give people a little bit more of an insulin signal and therefore they don't generate, they're not deep down uh, into ketosis. Again, nutritional ketosis is uh, a state during which insulin levels are very, very low because carbohydrate consumption um, is typically less than 25 grams.